Med it in one piece, kids. Uh. Let's go get some to eat. You ain't eat all that, Tibbs, are you? No. Wow. Well, it is ten past five. Me and the Tids Meister are getting a coffee. Early for your Tids. <laughs> well, we have this and then we'll hit the road. Eh? <laughs> I feel sick. It's that hill. Way to Laughing Lakes this morning, a bit of a long drive. We're up at five o'clock this morning, and uh, it is about what half six now, is it? Yes, we've not got far to go now, about an hour or something like that. But it's absolutely bouncing down. I didn't think it was going to be this bad today. No, I didn't. It's ridiculous, is the weather? It's rained all morning, and it's supposed to be raining all day till about 12 in it. Yeah, about 12 o'clock, I think, or so. Yeah. But this is the practice match before the golden rods. So we thought we best come down and have a go, yeah, have we? See, see yeah. what's happening and, and get some. Uh, I know what I'm pretty going to do anyway, I think. Yeah, we've sort of discussed that yeah. anyway, haven't we? What yeah. we've, we've both got to try. What the plan is. Um, don't want to give too much away, but. Well, hopefully, it'll be a decent day. We get a couple of good draws. So we've got. This week for the practice, and the next week we're going now, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Friday's the practice match again before the big, big event. And then it's Friday, uh, Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. Saturday, Sunday is the Golden Rod final. So, right, we're going to uh, crack on. We're hopefully going to get somewhere for breakfast. But the cafe in uh, Sour Point, is it Sour Point? Is that what you call it? Sour That's Point. So, so <laughs> We've got no idea. Got no idea. Follow, we'll follow the sat nav. Sat -nav yeah. I'll follow my uh, nose. Oh, lovely, lovely breakfast. Right, so we'll um, see what happens today. Hopefully, a good draw. Uh, I think an NPEG will dominate. Yeah, definitely. So I think if we're going to win the match, we want an MPEG, but it is fishing quite well in it. Yeah, there were Just 200 and something yesterday, weren't there? Yeah, 200 and. Adam Rooney won it, didn't he? Yeah, 200. Yeah. So, NPEG dominate, we'll, uh, and then we'll just see where we get drawn, and hopefully today we'll, uh, it'll be a good day, but I don't like the look of this rain at all. Well, I brought my brolly, sit under there, throw it out, and I'll put this today. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Right, let's get there, and let's see if we can get some breakfast. See you in a bit. We've made it in one piece, Tids. Uh. Let's go get some to eat. I'm starving. What do you want? You ain't eat all that, Tibbs, are you? No. All that. That's a right breakfast, is that, isn't it? Wow. Never break, always fight, never quit. We're right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, jam to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took a red pill, I know life's short, so I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? Supposed to feel. Go on, Andy. You're probably me. Open us up, Phil. 
please. Open it for you. Oh my <laughs> God. 29. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, love. Right, here we are, we've drawn, and uh, we've got to his peg, a little bit older, but uh, yeah, I've had a lot of rain down here at Larford, so we're on this uh, far bank, and uh, we've drawn peg 29, which I think John Arthur was about two pegs up that way, he had about 70 pound yesterday, so he had a quite a good, uh, quite a good day. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. So I'll turn you around and show you the peg. Right, so here's the peg. We've got uh, Snowy next door, Matt Pilly up there, uh, George Parker up there. This side we've got Fabian. Um, don't know who that is, don't know who that is. I think Cy Fry's down there. Tids is over there on that far bank. Um, not too sure is he here. Charlie Simpson's here, a few of the lads and what have you. This is my peg anyway. Um, obviously that was a platform before it got all flooded and what have you but I've decided to just sit on the bank nice and comfortable um, and that's me bit of ground bait there look so I've got ground bait, I've got some corn I've got some pellets, I've done a few red pellets I've got some fishery micros and just put some red dye on them uh, I've got my wafters, I've got my uh, critical wafters and I've got my super sprays I've got two rods set up and then a feeding feeder so I've got my essential method feeder, um, two rods, pretty much exactly the same. One's 10 foot for a short chuck. Uh, and one's 11 foot for a longer chuck. And then I've got my feeding feeder rod, which is all set up as well. Just in case I want to put some bait in down the edge or this edge or just in front. But uh, yeah, that's it. We're not going crazy. Um, we're just going to try a steady approach and see what happens. And then uh, we'll see what happens on the day as well as the final. So not too disheartened with the draw. Fancy it here for a few fish. And uh, we'll see how we get on. So wish me luck. Right, we're about there, I think. Let me sort that out a bit. There we go. Um, yeah, so we're about ready to go. Just gonna go easy easy before I put any bait in or out like that. Ooh, see what happens, two minutes from the off anyway. I 
worth so much because we're a bit closed in here. But uh, probably just going to start shortish and then uh, put some bait out long in a, about half an hour. And then, uh, yeah, keep going, keep it plopping in. And we'll see what happens. See what happens, just steady away. Um, not doing too much at the start and just go steady, steady. Hopefully we can nick a few fish early and uh, go from there, can't we? So we'll see what happens. Okay, we're nearly there. start there and then give that 10 minutes or so so you can pick out up straight away before we start feeding anywhere a few people feeding from the out and uh, we'll see what happens see if it is better feeding or we'll see if it is just better plopping and uh, see what we can catch around. He's feeding. just fed my longer line I've had 15 minutes on this Biggins out there with a bit of corn, a bit of pellets, a bit of ground meal. And uh, yeah, that's what I've got out about 30, 35 metres. Just put uh, four biggins out and then 
I'm just going to keep on this line now and hopefully start catching a few. That's the plan anyway. We just had one. Um, Fabio's had one skim along and a kid down there has had two skimmers short. So. There's nothing in it at the minute. First 20 minutes. See what happens there. Eh? Not seen anyone else catch much. Oh, Jeff, miss me. Have you missed me? Have you missed me, Jeff? Who's been on the phone? His mate Grogi's down there, so he's been giving him some tips. Do this, do that. Yeah, of course, Jeff. We'll do what you say, Jeff. Nice bit of advice for him, anyway. So, hopefully, we'll start getting a few fish on this line. See if it kicks in a bit. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll start bagging. Oh. Come off. <laughs> Me, you know, I'm on Banoffe. Yellow. Right, we're still there. Uh... We're, um, it is pretty much 10 past 12, so I've had an hour on that short line. Um, I had 20 minutes on it, we're not a fish. Then I put some bait out at 30, 35, 40 metres. Uh, put four out there. And then I've come back on that short line and had four skimmers. They're not being the bigger size, just like a pound, pound and a half sort of size. Um, but I think George up there, Parker's, he's, he's had a carp long. There's been a, a kid down there who's had a carp on the point. I don't know where he's chucking though. And then Fabio next door's had a couple of skimmers, I think. Snow is not adult this side. Um, that's all that's being caught, really. Nothing mega. Um, there's a few people coming short now. I think it's just very, very slow. But there is. Hey, that's a bite. But there is a odd, odd few. Um, Catching. This feels a better fish. Could be a small carp. This I'm looking. This is the first chuck on the longer line as well. So that's made me a bit more happier. Oh no, it's a green. First chuck on the long line. So I'm falling down there. So it's going alright at the minute. Keep going eh? 
Well, come on his long line now. That's that long, 35 metres. Gone round. Um, sneaking odd fish on each line, really. But George up there's had another car. Um, Some of the small ones are a bit of pain. That we're only in like, uh, must have been 30 seconds, that. Get some of this spray on. Come on. Run out of that, what? So yeah, best is George, I think, at minute. Uh, I have heard from Tids from the other side, and someone, I think Dave Berry's got an 18 pound car. Um, I think they're catching a few carp down in this bottom corner as well. That's Steve Brin, Brinley. He's uh, catching quite a few. But uh, yeah, it's not the greatest here. Persevere, carry on, keep going. Just hope that the edge line kicks in later. We'll get some big boys down the edge. So I think it's catch what you can. Go from there. Fishing well four today, so we might get a few fish late. I would have thought down the margins. Um, but I ain't seen anyone really catch much across. Odd skimmer coming out across, and uh, that's it really. Nothing else to report. I keep feeding my lines. Keep feeding my six metre line. I just started feeding the line down to my right. I'll probably feed the line this side and all. That bite, then it went whack straight down. Thought it were a carp bite, to be honest, but seems like you get one off, well, maybe one or two off a line, and then you've got to move. No carp yet. up there it is quarter past one so got a few hours left hopefully these carp will start moving in and having a munch later on
Well, it's three o'clock, we're into the last hour now. Um, I've not had a great last hour. Probably only put one skimmer in the net. I did try, I mean, long line, not had a bite on that. And then George got another carp long, and the kid down there had got a carp long about 50 metres. So I thought, right, I'll have, a, I'll have a try. So I got Big Bertha out, chucked it out 55 metres. Chucked it out three or four times, not a bite on it. And then Fabian next door chucked probably the same sort of distance, probably about 10 metres away from mine. And he's went and he's just got a carp. So Fabian next door's got a carp. And then Snowy's just underarmed a big dirty carp as well, about 18 pound. So I'm, uh, I'm well down, I think. Because I haven't had a bite. For, well, I've had one skimmer in the last hour. So, yeah, not too not too good. But the, the scores on the board, I've heard Charlie Simpson in peg two over the other side. He's got about six or seven carp. He's been on a bit of a bit of a tear away and started catching some carp. So he's done quite well. Um... And then here, it's just, anyway, I talked to Cy Fry as well. He, I rang him once. He said, oh, just playing a carp. I said, all right, I'll wait for you. Anyway, he chucked back out, started talking to him, and it went round again. He got another one about, he said, about 18, 19 pound, this other carp. So I think, uh, anyway, if this is my bad match, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take that and have the bad one, and uh, we'll have two good ones on the next, uh, the next one, please, in the final. So I don't mind that. But, um, yeah, last hour, I fed fed it up short again, um, put some corn down and a bit of micras and stuff like that. So I've, I've fed that again there, about uh, about six metres, just put three more feeder falls in. Just chucked back out to uh, my 35 metre line and I'm uh, going to fish this for two or three chucks and then I'm going to get back on that short line and hopefully we'll get a carp in the last hour or so. Um, I've kept feeding down this edge, but... I've kept trying at odd times and, and nothing on that either. So it looks like we've made a bit of a made a bit of a mess up. Should have gone long for carp in the uh, first couple of hours, and then come shorter. But normally on here you can catch short. So I don't know if I've messed it up or not, or if it's just been a bit of a bad day and not a great peg. So. Yeah, I've heard, so the win, winner, winner, winner so far. I think uh, we've heard Charlie Simpson's. So that's your. Uh, but you know, can be wrong, can't you? When you're fishing, these people talk a load of rubbish. So we don't know what uh, who's winning, to be honest. And uh, to start this last hour, we get a couple of carp. Come on. Well, just on that long line, just after I talked to you, looks like we've got a skimmer. Or uh, better bream. See if we can get him in there. Eh? I just thought, oh, Matt Pilly just texted me, and I was texting back. I looked up at Rod, we gone round. So, feels like one of them bream, to be honest. I'm about eight pounds would have been nice, wouldn't it? A 
few more chucks on this, then we'll have last half hour short. Right, just like 10 to 4, it's probably going to be the last fish. Wind's got on. It's uh, another skimmer. That's probably it for me. It's 10 to, well, this is like seven minutes to four now. But uh, the word, like on the grapevine, is that Charlie Simpson's probably won the match from what we can, what we've heard. Um, yeah, just them carp for me. Couldn't catch any. And uh, I think um, at the start, I've come on. That short line, I think I should have chucked out long. To see if I could get a carp, because that's where they've been. But today, just not gone my way. So seven minutes left. We'll get packed up. Probably get weighed these uh, breaming. Probably got about twenty pound of skimmers. I would have thought. Not, not probably not done anything in the section or anything like that. So a uh, bit of a uh, long drawn out affair today long day not the greatest area for me and not caught no carp it can only get better from here A long hard day. Is that what I say? <laughs> a long hard day, that, not a I'll long look. and hard. <laughs> well, it depends where you come from, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. Or what you're into. Well, it's um, it has been a bit tough. I've uh, I've ended up weighing twenty. Oh no, nineteen pound, I think it were. Um, all skimmers couldn't get any carp. Well, I mean. The lad next door, Snowy, he'd had nothing for like three hours and then he's just chucked down edge, gone on his phone, gone round. rod's gone round, he's had a big one at about 18 pounds, then he's had another one, he's ended up weighing 37 pounds. Fabian next door, he had note, and then he's chucked long, him, him. Yeah. and then he's had about 35 pounds. Uh, Matt Pilly's been further up, he's had 20 odd pound. Lad on ends had 20 odd pound. Uh, I think who won our section were George Parker. Oh, I think he had 47 and he's chucked long, like at 50 metres into the middle of the lake. So he's won our section. Um, how did you go? On? How did I get on? You've no, been in epicentre, haven't you? Yeah, I've been battered. Uh, left hand side of me, 109 pound. Who oh, was that, Charlie? Charlie. Um, then I've I've had about thirty pound what I've thrown back because I thought I'll get down for you. Um, oh, I, you had a big one though. I you? had a big one last ten minutes. Threw my foot down the edge, off it went. Zzz, yeah, big lump. Yeah, that were a belt. 
That might be dear, to be fair. Is that a, you took a picture, I took a picture. Oh, yeah. I'll put it up on screen now. You yeah. can have a look at it. At least there's someone caught a carp, didn't there? Did you have any carp? No, I didn't have any carp. I had three carp, two for about six, one at 14, and then two skimmers. And I've tried short, underarm in long. Underarm in long? Well, <laughs> no. Like nine no, metres? No, about 15, I'd oh, say, okay. 16 metres. I tried that line. Tried 30 metre line. Yeah. With new rod. Yeah. Threw that in, that were all right. Went in with a douche, but... Well, the next door, we got wet, it says. <laughs> Charlie, so I got wet. Oh, Charlie, he's, he's a good lad, isn't he? So, who won your set? Wait, Charlie's won it. Charlie will have won it. Uh, What's he had 80, under him? No, Charlie had 80 somewhere. Oh, right. Uh, lad, two pegs up, he had 109. And what's he caught, I'm on then? He's caught all along, probably right. 50 metres, as I said. Because I was throwing, on my 50 metre line, that's what I had me two cart, really. Right. Um, and that's it's a shame, isn't it? Because no, normally at, at Larford, you, you can catch it's short. It's always short. Yeah, it's always, always short, short, isn't it? But everyone seems to have caught long. Dave on and Peg, he thought he got empty. Yeah, yeah Dave Berry drew and Peg fly it, didn't he? And he's he's, he's had a nightmare. Yeah, he? he has. He, I thought he'd have done a lot better. Yeah, Charlie. He did, I think. They just want there. Yeah. yeah. But I think the winner of the day, 155, when it was Steve Brindley, and he's. He's drew that MPEG and he pegged 40, 40. in corner. And he's, uh, I think Rooney had it yesterday, didn't he? And Rooney had like £200 off it. We were there, weren't we? Yeah. Adam Rooney. Um, but he's done well, he draws well. There's old Steve down there. And, I wish uh, I could draw like some uh, of them, you know. I, I'm on a bad bad run, me, at the minute. I can't draw. I know we're going to smash him up and smash all. Smash him up, to, what, yeah. Get him smashed! Get him smashed! <laughs> There's that little... In the morning, I just had that massive breakfast. I was like oh, feeling that good. That breakfast one, yeah, I was feeling right up for it, and I thought I'm gonna smash everyone up today. Smash them all. And I then, was thinking that last night. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll smash them all up. And then uh, I've caught an old. <laughs> yeah, <I'm saying. laughs> we're saving ourselves for next week. Yeah, well, that's what I said on camera. I said I'm not peaking too early. Yeah, we've had a nice. You know, we've got in the mood for it now, and then next week we're on it, aren't we? Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Friday's the practice match just before the main yeah. event. So, if I can draw well on that. But I am, we haven't fished on the match lake, have we? No, no. So we're a bit unsure. To be honest, I'd want a practice match on match lake. Eh? Hey? I'd, I'd want to practice. Yeah, I, I want mine on that we've Friday. We've had not we? I've had a, yeah, we've had to go on Spessy, so we know sort of... I'd like to have a go on that match lake and just, but it's all, it's, you can't chuck past 20 metres anyway, no, no. can you? So it'll be no, it'll no be long work, it'll just be 20 metres and short just again. Go, won't it? Just up, it's windy, then they don't know when it's going. Yeah, well, you, you just need to draw them in pegs, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? No, peg one, and then right at the top is it peg 19? Yeah, peg 19, I think it is. And then, yeah. I don't, I don't mind it round that island, no, you catch a few round yeah, that island, can't it's, you? Last year I drove middle of that, end of that section. Yeah, yeah, and no. Worst place to be, but for the final, you've just got to draw two end pegs. Yeah, and yeah. if you get two you end have a good pegs, chance then, aren't you? two end pegs, win your section both days. That's all you can do, and then that's it, isn't it? Yeah. You, you, you've just got to draw well. If you're drawing them middle sections, it's going to be hard work. For it's got to be it? hard work, but I think it's fairer that middle section on Match Lake, especially. Yeah, maybe because you're so. not against any end pegs as such, are you? Mm, possibly. Still going to be hard work though. Yeah, you need to catch. Yeah. Just to hope it's better than last year, because when on last year they only had two, four pound, four pound, three, three yeah, pound on that. Yeah. I have two, a skimmer and a little cap. Yeah, I think I had about. I That's what we win last pound. year, wasn't it? Yeah. That much work. So just hopefully, I'll get that right this year, and if if I can start off good, draw on that match lake and draw a good peg, and then you're off, then aren't you? Yeah. But, First day, that's what you want good peg on first day mm. for definite like yeah. you did last year mm. first have a good peg yeah um win it like you did eh? yeah i'll yeah. be happy with that yeah so, uh, first and second me and you first I first I, and I, second i don't care oh. either way one of us come first yeah, or second i'll be happy with yeah, that i'll be happy so that's it hope you enjoyed this little practice uh match that we've been on uh, well done to all the framers, Steve Brinley and Charlie and 
a few others where I can't remember names and that but if I do get the results I'll put them up for you and you can have a look through then uh, thanks for uh, getting up at four o'clock today and coming picking half me three. up. Oh, half three and hey, I were up at five, at uh, half four. Yeah, but it, like I said, it were it were on way one end. Yeah. It, two minutes off more way yeah. your house and it's uh, in too bad. Yeah, it weren't too bad. So anyway, thanks for we're absolutely knackered. We've got a two and a half hour drive home, so we should be home for about eight o'clock ish. And uh, thanks for watching this one. Make sure you subscribe up to the videos, hit the join button, all that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Keep on bagging. We out. Well, not the best of days, but we're finishing it and off with a Burger King at Tids. <sighs> Enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, not off. Fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win in life, I never miss that stack.